last night we worked more on the chassis getting it finalized we actually disassembled it for painting uh, we're trying to make it look nice um, and we are re we finished reassembling that last night as well and now we're working on the assembly of the uh, arm lift uh, James is doing some stuff on the intake to try and get that uh, onto the robot and tested with the rest of the system. And um, we had a little bit of fun last night talking about um, the potential for a double robot lift um, and getting the levitate in order to get that uh, the three climb and the one RP uh, every match potentially uh, pretty easily. Uh, but we realized we don't have the resources to do that, so um, we kind of shied away from that. But plan for the rest of the day is get the get the arm working, um, get the intakes on so that we can start putting electronics on um, either later tonight or tomorrow morning. I guess the list of things that we need to do is um, first thing is we need to do a second version of our intake. Uh, after that, we need to mount our piston that will actuate our arm. Um, after that, we need to do uh, well. We need to re we need to install all of our upper structure that we already have cut and painted. Um, after that, um, I guess at that point, winch for. Well, the installation of the winch for the climbing system is necessary. Uh, and at that point, we can worry about our side rollers and our scoring on the scale. So part of our reason we decided that uh, having a way to score on the scale was going to be accelerated in terms of importance was that we realized that the scale is basically the way to break ties. Is that if you don't, if you can't guarantee that you can at least get one uh, cube on the scale, you are basically giving up the match in any situation where your opponent can get one cube on the scale. So having the capability to put one or even just two cubes on the scale gives you the opportunity to potentially win all of these matches uh, because of how easy the switch is. You can most of the time be sure that your uh, partner will be able to do it. So if we can show that it's easy enough to just get one or two cubes on the scale with a really easy lift, doesn't have to be the fastest thing, it doesn't have to you know, be able to place the cubes in the most strategic of ways, but as long as we can just get a cube on the scale, uh, that's uh, potentially, you know, tens if not, a, you know, a hundred points that you could have over your opponent simply because you can do it and they can't.
so it's the evening of the second day and we've actually gotten a lot of work done today we took a drive base that we had complete in the morning and added arms and a climber slash cue bringer up to the top of the scale device uh, before we go to bed tonight we're trying to get the electronics and pneumatics done so we can have a robot driving around a lot of our mechanisms mechanisms aren't powered yet but we want to make sure that we have all of that ready to go in the morning we're looking at a really early morning tomorrow we have a lot of mechanical work to get done but i think it'll be good um, a big change that we made today was we had prototyped an intake that was static wheels but a flexible arm. We've decided after some, some more prototyping and looking at things that we need to change that. We're going to take some compliant wheels but make the arms static. So we're waiting on parts but we're going to test that first thing in the morning and see how that goes.